In the grand pantheon of Canadian achievements in pop culture, it's an oft overlooked but telling fact that Canadians make excellent game show hosts. Indeed, two men, who many would cite as the most popular U.S. game show hosts in the last 30 years, Let's Make a Deal's Monty Hall and Jeopardy's Alex Trebek, were both born in Canada. It's no coincidence that Canadians have achieved such exalted status in the realms of buzzers and bouncing contestants. Step back and consider the idea of the Canadian as game show host, and it begins to make sense. The game show host's role comprises certain characteristics Canadians have long tended to demonstrate. Like the professional newsreader, a field in which Canadians excel, the game show host's role is to be the unflappably calm, professionally disinterested guide through otherwise chaotic events. Moreover, the game show host's role is basically that of an impartial diplomatic conciliator. Someone who reminds us what the rules are, who never loses his cool, and who facilitates the fun to be had by others. In addition to producing a disproportionate number of genial hosts, Canadians have also displayed a voracious appetite for homegrown game quiz shows. Even the jackpot fantasy allure of the splashier foreign game shows cannot account for Canadians' long-running interest in our homegrown versions. One of the things no reasonably sentient Canadian couch potato could fail to notice was the often hilarious discrepancy between what you stood to win on something like The Dating Game, an all-expenses-paid chaperone trip to Honolulu, for example, versus the booty at stake on Headline Hunters, where even the winning of an electric toothbrush was considered a rare and impressive event. Contestants on low-budget Canadian game shows not only appeared to feel lucky if they won half of this week's grocery money, they were perfectly content. As much as one watched Headline Hunters or Definition, one never heard an expression of disappointment or dismay over the dime store nature of the prizes. No, if Canadians played and watched game shows. And, no matter how cheap or silly the show, Canadians watched anyway. They seemed to do so for the sheer pleasure of it. Leave it to other countries to use greed, gluttony, sex, and exhibitionism as dressing to beef up a game show's allure. Canadians needed no such excuse. We watched our own game shows for the pure, simple love of them. <laughs>